What's up guys? We're back in Blender with our Steve character, and I believe we just finished the texturing and UV mapping. Yep, that looks about right. And I'm sorry I haven't been uploading as much as I said I would. Uh, that is because I have been sick again. Oh goody. Uh, it's the same sickness, it's been on and off for about two months now. And it really sucks, because I keep missing school, and I have to make up schoolwork, and I'm just not in the mood to make a video. I hope you understand. I will be, um, making more frequent videos, and that will either start either this week or next week, depending on how I feel. So I hope you understand, and let's get started. So now we just have to change some settings, um, in the settings, or properties panel. Uh, we, let's go, uh, into, make sure you're, um, selected Steve and you're in edit mode I don't think you have to be in edit mode but just make sure you you're selected Steve go to material new material and we're just going to change some settings in here uh, diffuse intensity we're going to bring up to one and specular intensity is going to go to zero what that does is it get, it makes it a little brighter and it removes some uh, glare that you get um, you don't have to do that, but that's just what I like to do. And just to be safe, um, if, if for some reason you can't see your textures, then, uh, select face textures, and even if you can see your textures, I would select that anyways, because that is, has been the source of a few problems that I've had in the past. Okay, and, uh, you can select shadeless, uh, for temporary purposes, or if you don't want your character to have any shadows or anything. Uh, and now let's go to the next panel over, which is the textures panel. It's a, it looks like a chessboard. So we're going to click new to add a new texture. You can name it if you want, but I don't really feel like it. Um, we're going to change type from clouds to image or movie. And then we scroll down to image. And you don't have to open or create a new image because you already have the image from the UV mapping. Okay then, so now we go scroll down again to mapping, coordinates, uh, we bring it from generated to UV, and that way it will map out the texture uh, the same way you UV mapped it, which is good. And I think that's it, no, there's one more thing we have to do, I always forget where it is though, I believe it is in sampling. Yes, it is in sampling. Go to image sampling. It will most likely be um, the this. I'm not sure how to say it. this triangle thing would be to the right, and it would be it would be minimized. That's what I'm looking for. So uh, maximize it or whatever, and uncheck interpolation. Now I'm going to show you the difference be between interpolation and no interpolation. So let's uh, shift S cursor to center. Get out of edit mode. Shift A. Uh, camera and where when you um, open a camera or when you uh, spawn in a camera it will spawn in in the orientation that you're looking at so I went into the front view and it uh, spawned looking where I was looking and now if I was to add another one it would look over there so that's just a quick little tip for you so let's move it, move the camera back and up a little bit. You press zero to go into camera mode. Now this is with interpol interpolation. F12 to see the render. We forgot the lamp. Let's just bring a point lamp. Or we can make it shadeless, but I don't want to do that. Excuse me, I'm still a little sick. Um, and now F12. And that's with interpolation. Yeah, yeah, that looks nice. Just kidding, that looks horrible. You wouldn't ever use that. Um, now let's scroll up here. I'm not sure why it's all down like that. Ah, right, because we haven't selected this character. So make sure you have your guy selected. Now here it is without interpolation. And F12. As you can see, it's, it's a little better, but it's still not the best because of all the bumps and stuff. Now what you want to do is change filter to box. I'm not sure if you have to change the filter size or not. It doesn't look like it. So filter to the box, and don't change the filter size or anything. Just change it to box, and there you go. You got your Minecraft character. Um, and it looks perfect. 
So, now that we got that done, let's remove everything except our character. And now we're going to start the rigging. Yay! And this part is the most tedious if you don't know what you're doing. So, uh, let's... Uh, there's multiple ways you can do this. It might be easier to uh, move your arms and or move your limbs away from the body when rigging and then put put them back in later and i think that's what we're going to do because um it doesn't always get the uh weights right on on the armatures so what we're going to do is go into edit mode and then uh select your arm with the box select in case you forgot that's b uh, click and drag over the arm you don't need make sure you're in face mode and you don't need this face because it moves all the faces that it's connected to therefore it moves this face as well which is good and I'll do the same with this arm I like to move it two boxes away but it doesn't matter how you do it I've just noticed that um, two boxes seems seems to work the best uh, for spacing purposes Again, you can do whatever you want, but this is just what I recommend. And the head as well, just to be safe. Okay, then. So now, what we want to do is go into object mode, and now shift A, to, um, and then go to armature, single bone. And now, one quick thing we do before we start to make it a lot easier, because as you notice right now, it's incredibly hard to work with because you can't see it inside the body. So you, you go into the properties panel, select this mannequin, or not mannequin, this just man right here. It's the armature tag. You scroll down and click x-ray. And you, you might want to change it to b-bone or stick. It doesn't really matter. I just like octahedral because I'm used to it. But it doesn't really matter. So now, don't add any more bones, because we want all the bones to be in one object. So we go tab to go into edit mode of the bone, and uh, may have this selected, press G to move it up, and as you notice, it doesn't really get it uh, the exact we want, we want it to be halfway. So let's uh, press G, move it halfway down. You can eyeball it like I just did, or you can do it precisely, it doesn't really matter. Um, e to extrude and bring it up. Again, use control uh, to lock it to the grid. And if you scroll in, you'll get a smaller grid, which is really good. And that's the smallest grid you're going to get, I think. Yeah. I'm not sure why you would need it that small, but whatever. I don't know, I don't know your situation. And now we want to right-click the entire bone, Shift-D and it automatically becomes parented to this bone and just bring it up to the head and select this edge G to bring it down and bring it down to fit the entire head there that's good and now let's shift D again eh, I'm not sure about that uh, yeah yeah okay that's fine shift D again and let's do the arm we have to bring it into the middle again by scrolling in really far, pressing control and bringing it, bringing it to the middle. Uh, R to rotate, control to lock it to an axis, and there. And now uh, E to extrude, bring it down, there. Now we have what we want for all the limbs, so we just select both. Shift D, bring it there, Shift D, bring it there, Shift D, bring it there. Perfect. Okay. And now what we want to do is before we parent these, we want to select the character, press tab, go into edit mode, select everything, and press W, subdivide, not smooth, W, just subdivide. And you can do that two, maybe three times. Uh, I think three times will be better. It depends on how blocky or how smooth you want the... Uh, the joints to move so I I always do subdivide three times but uh, y you can do it depending on your preferences that makes me a little laggy so I'm actually just going to do two this time that's a little better so let, let's just see how this looks so we select our character first shift and right click the bone to and then you do control P 
and then with automatic weights. Now let's just make sure everything's parented, and it is. So let's go. I'm not sure there's a shortcut for this, so just uh, select your mode and go to pose mode. Make sure you're on the uh, bone. And let's see how this works. That leg looks good. We'll check the joints later. That leg looks good. That leg look or that arm looks good. That arm looks good. And that head looks good. And the body should bring all of them. Yes. Now let's check the joints. This should work fine. It does, but I am not liking that very much. Well, let's check. Actually, let's check them after. So let's Control Z a bunch to undo, and tab again, and let's just do one more. It may give us a little more lag, but it's worth it in my opinion. And if you're getting a lot of lag, then just go into solid mode. That removes a lot. Uh, and I'm lagging a lot because I'm recording also. So let's select the player first, and then shift right click the bone, control P with automatic weights. Just make sure right click the bone, make sure it is parented completely, and it is. That's good. Now go into pose mode, and now let's check all the joints. Let's see how this looks. Yeah, that looks a little better. Not perfect, but better. Now let's check this. That works perfectly. And this. And this. It's not the best, but it's good for our purposes. If You can tweak it manually if you want, but I don't think I'll do a tutorial on how to, how to do that. And that looks good. And now... Now, we don't want the actual player to look this way, so now we're going to bring everything in. So, first, let's do the player. We already have it weighted. It doesn't matter what you do to the player now. All the bones are weight, uh, weighted and um, parented to their particular faces, and that's good. So, let's bring the face back down. Let's bring this arm in, this arm in, this arm, or this, pff, this leg. I might just say limbs so I don't make that mistake again. There. And now, it should still be parented, yes. And let's just test this out. I think, yeah, it, it's still parented 100% to the arm, but... Depending on how you move it, it may look a little weird. <laughs> so now we have to move the bones back to it, their proper places. Like that. Like that. Like that. And you may want to remove doubles on that bone. Or actually here. Uh, let's right click this bone and then right click this one. And do Alt P. Um, actually, uh, hold on. No, control P. Yeah, control P, and then connected, and that should connect it, and it should still have the uh, proper weighting, but you can't check the weighting in edit mode, so let's just finish all this up and see how it works. We just need to make sure that this still works 100%. That looks good, except you might, might want to... Um, Put the bone on the side so that the axis is right there but i really don't care if it flies a little bit i mean anything's possible in minecraft i guess uh, and the head should still only take the head or move the head yes that's working and then neck should now there is one more thing i want to change so let's select these two bones alt p a clear parent and now you'll notice that the uh, lines remove so now let's keep them selected and then right click this one control P keep offset oh that's not right actually I don't think it's that one I think it's this one control P keep offset there we go now you notice the dotted lines are uh, parallel 
which is what we want. And now what I think will happen is when I rotate this, the arms should move as well. Yep, and that's what we want. So we're, we just passed the 15 minute mark, and I think that's a good length episode. And next episode, we are... Why am I saying episodes? Is it an episode? I don't even know. Uh, next episode, we are going to actually start the face. And I know you'll all be looking forward to that. So thank you for watching. Please like and give me suggestions for other videos that you would want me to do. Other tutorials, other... It doesn't matter. And also, how would you feel if I was to do a let's play maybe a multiplayer maybe single player i don't know what game just a let's play in general how would you feel about that so yeah all right then bye